Good morning. Hope you're doing well at home. And uh, as still as you are home, we need to run. We need to school at home. So today, we have a lesson in mathematics on fractions. And uh, as we write in class four, we were told what is a fraction. But for the purpose of reminding those of us who have forgotten, a fraction is part of a whole. Fraction is part of a whole. So, when you talk of a fraction, <coughs> sorry, you need to have an example of a knowledge. And when I take this knowledge <coughs> alone, I will have said I have taken a whole. But if I if I share it, if I share it with somebody. For example, if you are two, for example, I'll draw we have shared that orange, or I have cut the orange into two, and I'm gonna cut it as you see. So this orange, your mom or your dad bought it for you, but you had to share with the, either your brother, your aunt, or whoever is in your house, the two of you. So that means I'll have two parts. And these two parts, I'll not consume the two of them, I'll just take one. So when I take the one part, I'll have taken one out of those two parts. And that is what we call a fraction. When you take part of the whole orange, which is that one, so this is a whole, you can talk of one whole, and then this is a half. Because we have taken the two of us, I have taken one piece of that whole orange. So I will say I have taken a half. This number here, one over two, is what we call a fraction. So a fraction is made up or it comprises of two parts. There is the top part and there is the bottom part. The top part, we call it the numerator. And the, the bottom part, we call it the denominator. Those are the parts that makes up a fraction. Then we shall, before we come to the operational fraction, we shall deal with something like types of fraction. I'll state the four of them, the four types of fractions, and then we shall discuss them one by one, maybe in a later stage. The first one is called the proper fraction. We have the second one called the improper fraction, the opposite of the first one, improper fraction. The third one, we have equivalent fractions. And finally, we shall discuss the mixed fractions. So my dear boy and girl, at home, we will start with the equivalent fractions. So we have the equivalent fractions. And from the word it, uh, equivalent, it suggests that or it explains that that fraction is equal to another fraction. So if you find a fraction that is equal to another fraction, we call those fractions equivalent fractions, meaning they are equal. For example, I have one out of three. If I want to know the other fractions that are equal with that a third or one over three, this is the method we use. We take that one and multiply by the an, an, a number there, for example, two. And then what you do on the numerator side, you do the same on the denominator side. So you have three times two. So what do you get? You get two out of six. 
If I change that and I have maybe the same same fraction I had started with, I multiply by a different number three and the denominator I multiply the same with a number, the same number three, I will get a different fraction as three out of nine. I can continue with the thread. I can take again one over three times four on that side and also on this side times four. What I'm going to get is four out of twelve. I can continue the thread again. I take 1 times 5 over 3 times 5. What I'm going to get is 5 out of 15. So these fractions I will get after multiplying. For example, I started with the other. So what I got after multiplying, I got 2 over 6. I got another one as 3 out of 9. And I got another one, 4 out of 12, and also 5 out of 15. And the thread continues like that. So these fractions are equal to the, our original fraction, which was 1 out of 3. So we can say that at that, 2 over 6, 3 out of 9, 4 out of 12, and 5 out of 15 are equivalent fractions. So when you are there at home, Please look for others that you can be able to get their equivalent and you'll be somewhere. I can give another example of 3 over 4. I want to get fractions which are equal to 3 out of 4 or 3 quarters. And I start the process. I can have 3 times 2 over 4 times 2. I'm going, to get, I'm going to get 6 out of 9. I can continue again. I have 3 times 3 and then 4 times 3. Don't forget what you use at the numerator, you do the same to the denominator. Don't change the number because you have changed the fraction. So here I'm going to, go, I'm going to get 9 out of 12. I can also have the last one maybe for that case, but not the last, just for this lesson. I can have 3 times 4, and all 4 times 4. I'm going to get 12 over 16. Therefore, therefore, 6 over 9, 9 over 12, and 12 over 16 and then the thread continues are equivalent fractions to 3 over 4 which was our example so also you can look for other examples to do the same and on the same there are many other fractions that you can use as you have seen provided that your fraction has a numerator and a denominator those two parts are the ones that comprises a fraction. So you can use as many or as different fractions as you can so that you can create those fractions and also get their equivalent by what we have just run. I want to go something different from that on how to simplify a fraction. I hope we are together as we continue. Ten minutes. It's five more, eh? I think the water is left. Is this? Huh? So you have simplification. And when you talk of simplification, you want to simplify a fraction to its lowest part. And I'm starting with an example. And our example one, we will have two over four. So I want to simplify this one to get the, the simple form of two over four, and I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to take two, divide by a number there, over four, divide by a certain number there, I should get one over two. So this box, I want you to fill it with a number. 
So that when I have 2, I divide by that number, I'm going to get 1. At the same time, 4, I divide by that same number, I should get 2. And I propose you have done that and you have got a 2. So that means 2 over 4 in its simplified form is 1 over 2. I use another example. You have 18 out of 24. This fraction is not simplified. So we should simplify it like that as, as, as follows. I can have 18, I divide by 3 over 24. I divide by 3. These two numbers, they should be the same. So what I'm going to get, I'm going to get 6 over 9. But if you still look at this fraction again, it is not simplified. So we need to simplify it further. So we continue with this process. 6 over 9 can be simplified by 6 divided by 3 and also 9 divided by 3. This number again should be the same. So finally, I'm going to get 2 over 3. So 18 over 24 to its simplified form should give you 2 over 3. If you look at this fraction 2 over 3, there is no single common divisor between the 2 and 3. That's why this is a simplified form. And in that case, you can do the following exercise when you're at home. Try it to do in the presence of your mom, your dad, your guardian, your auntie, your brother, your sister, or whoever is at home with you, so that you can do that. I'll be coming around to check if you have done that work. So do this exercise. Number one, write for me the simplified form or find the missing numbers in the following. One, two, and then three. So there is another one. You work out so work out the following and simplify. One is one over four plus one over four. Two seven over nine minus one over nine. And the last one is four over fifteen minus two over fifteen. And then I'll come to mark as I come around at home. So make sure you are ready and you have done that work so that marks the end of our lesson but corona is real you have to wash your heart after or severally to prevent the virus from spreading so take your sanitizer if you have at home if you don't have you don't have to worry you can take some soap apply it on your heart like like uh, like this and then let's do it together and then you wash your heart at the count of five in this way. One, two, three, four, five. Change your heart. One, two, three, four, five. At the back of your heart, the same time. One, two, three, four, five. Then the other heart. One, 
two, three, four, five. Don't forget your dabs. One, two, three, four, five. The other side. One, two, three, four, five. Under the middle of your hand, don't forget. One, two, three, four, five. And the other side. One, two, three, four, five. And the one part of the hand that is always forgotten is the wrist. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five. Stay safe.